This is pasta alla Luciana, a classic Neapolitan baby octopus pasta. I ate this when I was in Naples last year and I absolutely love it. So I want you to love it the same way I do. Mm. To make Neapolitan baby octopus pasta, we need, first of all, the nice baby octopus. I'm using half a kilo, very generous amount. Two cloves of garlic. If you love garlic, use more, but two are more than enough. About 25 black olives. Please use a pitted black olives. It's best for everyone to eat them like that way, especially if you have kids, you know? You don't want the pits in your pasta. Two tablespoons of capers. I love capers. If you don't love them, use less. If you can find capers in salt, it's best. Otherwise, just buy the one in vinegar. Either way, you need to wash them very, very, very well. So you can just put your capers in a colander and you wash them just like that. You put them under the, under the tap and you wash them. 250 grams of cherry tomatoes that I like to cut in half. A nice amount of parsley chopped. About 400 grams of pasta and I've chosen a rigatoni but a giant one, giant rigatoni. So the, the sauce and the fish goes inside. One small can of peeled tomatoes. If you can get the Italian peeled tomatoes, you know they're gonna be nice and sweet. Extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. The first thing we wanna do is to crush the peeled tomatoes. You can do it by hands, make sure you wash your hands. Or we just use this, we just go like that. Squash it, squash it. Mmm, look how beautiful it is. On a medium high heat, we put extra virgin olive oil, and please be generous, at least four or five tablespoons of it. After the oil, we get the garlic, and I like to crush my garlic. I just think the crushing, the, when you crush the garlic, you get the flavors out of it, and the flavors are stronger. Beautiful. And here we go. And right after the garlic, we're gonna put the baby, baby octopus inside. Now, what we want to do is to basically cook the baby octopus on both sides for at least 10 minutes. And you will see that we release water, which we're gonna use to give the flavors to this beautiful sauce. Close the lid, we let it cook for about 10 minutes, but we want to stir it every now and then. You put the lid on and we're gonna have uh, all the flavors, the aromas, the beautiful smell in there, right? So when we open it, oh, the smell takes us right to the ocean. After five minutes, we open it and see, see the water? See? We want a little bit more water, but this water is flavors. Lots of chefs like to remove, get rid of the water. Me? No, I like to keep it. Smell in this kitchen is divine. Oh, hello, baby octopus. Now, we have the water, see? That beautiful water, flavors. Like I said, I like to keep this one. Now it's time for us to add the cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes go in. And we need to wait now for them to cook. We want the cherry tomatoes to release the juice, okay? So what we do now, we put the lid on again for five more minutes or until the cherry tomatoes are cooked. And here we are. The cherry tomatoes are cooked. They're making love with the baby octopus. Oh yeah, they are calling me. Please add the peeled tomatoes, please. <laughs> See these beautiful peeled tomatoes? They need to go in there and make love all together. They're gonna make love. Can you make love for half an hour? Hmm, that's a big challenge, my friend. <laughs> the octopus and the tomatoes, they can. <laughs> now we're gonna cook the sauce for about one hour, okay? Because you want the beautiful baby octopus to be nice, moist, 
tender, you know. You can cook it for longer than you want, okay? But at least one hour. At this point, I'm not covering this with the lid because I want the smell to go all over my house. You know, I want to smell this. I want Sebastian, my son, to smell this and say, hey, Dad, ah, is dinner ready? You know, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful Neapolitan creation. All right, it's been 10 minutes, and now what I like to do is give it a nice stir. You can see there is, uh, there is more water coming out from the octopus, from the cherry tomatoes. And now what we can do is we can cover with the lid and wait 20 more minutes. And then it will be almost ready. So what we're trying to achieve now is, of course, to give the flavor to this sauce, but we also want to make sure that the baby octopus is nice and tender, okay? They need to be tender. So pretty, look at that. The octopus are so happy swimming in the tomato sauce, the cherry tomatoes. Now we can add the capers. And I love my capers. For me, it's never too much, but if you think that it's too much, use less, okay? If you wanna use one tablespoon, is enough, okay. So in here we have the black olives, so important. And they are pitted black olives, okay? Then we add some parsley, beautiful parsley. Then we add salt and pepper. Now we add the pepper. We give it a nice quick stir. And now, oh, the flavors are really strong. The capers really help. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Look at that, look how happy the octopus is now. Yay, I've got new friends to play with. <laughs> My favorite friends, capers and olives. Now we cover with a lid and we gently cook it while we boil the pasta. Now the water is boiling. We are gonna add one generous tablespoon of rock salt right in there, beautiful. Because we want the water to taste like the ocean. The packet of the pasta says nine minutes to have the al dente pasta. So I'm cooking this for nine minutes. Always stir the pasta when it's in, so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. And see you in nine minutes. Before we get the pasta out, we need pasta water. So. We get a nice mug and we want to get the pasta water before we get the pasta out. You never know, maybe you need it, maybe you don't. Guys, if you think that the sauce is drying up a little bit because maybe we haven't used too much sauce, well, you can use more sauce, like peeled tomatoes, or you just put a little bit of uh, pasta water, you know, the pasta water, it really helps to combine all the ingredients. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the sauce is now ready. Here we go. Look at that beautiful, tender baby octopus. Ooh. It's time to put the pasta in it. Time to put the pasta in this wonderful sauce. And let's combine the beautiful pasta with the sauce. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, baby, yay! Yeah. Let's put some pasta water, a little bit. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Amazing. And now it's time to stir and rock and roll. Yeah. Look how beautiful it looks. And look, look at the sauce. So smooth. Oh, it's time to plate it. Come on. Honestly, not a big fuss plating this. Honestly, this is not about the presentation. It's about tasting this beautiful, marvelous 
Neapolitan pasta. Make sure you get plenty of octopus. Oh, bellissimo, beautiful. Guys, last but not least, a little bit of parsley, a nice drop of top quality extra virgin olive oil, and we are ready to rock and roll. Time to eat this wonderful pasta. Ladies and gentlemen, pasta with baby octopus, Neapolitan style. I strongly recommend you to pair this dish with a nice white wine, okay? Because it will go very well. If not, have a glass of water. Let's taste it. Mm. Pasta, cooked to perfection. Let's now try the octopus. Let's see if it breaks. Look how easy it breaks. Look, it broke with a fork. Mmm, very tender extremely tender peas. You want to get the pasta, the octopus all together. Mm. If the octopus melts in your mouth, you know you've done the right job. You know you've done the right thing. Yes, you do. And if you want to have a big piece of octopus, just like that, you have a big mouth like mine, <laughs> do it. Mmm. Mmm. What are you waiting for? Make this dish and bring your belly all the way to Naples. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. And don't forget, you can get the apron on my website right now. <coughs> <coughs> my God, it's spicy. Oct... <laughs>